the only company I'm giving my money to is Nintendo. That's because I like Nintendo, and I like their games, and I like... Yeah, I just like them. I just like Nintendo. I think they get a bad rap. They don't do anything that warrants the level of outrage people have for them in comparison to the things Sony and Xbox do. And game companies in general. They make games I don't like. Okay, that too. But that's also not warranted uh, <laughs> for the extreme hatred. <laughs> I wouldn't say like Nintendo, but like, no, 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 I don't even just like their games. I think that I like Nintendo. You know why? The worst things Nintendo does is stuff like their their litigious nature for the litigation against emulators and stuff like that, which is not that bad. That doesn't affect pe normal people very much, usually. You can still get all their stuff. The emulators are still there. You can still play whatever. No, that's not, that's not that much of a problem. Uh... You can play all of their, their old catalog. Who cares? No. The good things that they do is this, they have this general... They don't microtransaction me. They never microtransaction me. They don't design their games to be full of garbage. They, they don't Atlas me. You know, they don't sell me DLC for extra XP on, on hard games and then release a super boss as, a, as DLC for me to pay for. And then release... Um, demons that are really useful against the super boss <laughs> uh, later as, as, as sold content. They don't release Shin Megami Tensei 5 and then have it have a bad story and then release Vengeance soon after, relatively soon after, with a completely updated version with a better story, <laughs> apparent, well, a different story, <laughs> immediately after. They don't sell me the same shit over and over and over. If I, They didn't even make DLC for Tears of the Kingdom. What the fuck? They're like, no, we're done. We don't want to. What's the reason? Oh, we don't want to. We don't need the money. They're just out of touch with the internet age. They don't scam us or do stupid things. Right. Right. Look, all the normal things that people dislike about their, uh, their, their lawyers, the emulation stuff, is that really as bad as even one of the other companies with their stupid microtransaction bullshit? Is it even as bad as even one situation? I don't think that it, it even compares on a scale. The fact that they're not trying to squeeze out every dollar I have, that means so much more to me than, than theoretical anti-emulation positions that they have that don't really affect me because I can emulate all their games for free. Regardless of what, what they're doing in the law. Which are, I you know, it's reasonable for them to bring their lawyers out when people are downloading Tears of the Kingdom two weeks before the game is released. When Kotaku's writing articles telling, hey, Metroid Dread runs really great on emulator. What the fuck? What did people think was gonna happen? 